So, I didn't introduce myself yet. I'm Kate Rivera. I am the executive director of the Technology Learning Collaborative. I use she, her pronouns. Uh, probably if you're here, you know who we are. But just in case you don't, we are a professional development organization, essentially, for the digital equity community. Uh, we've been operating uh, since 2012. We started as very grassroots and community-based, uh, and we've been growing since then. We have an email list serve. We offer training, professional development, and we advocate for the needs of Philadelphia's digital equity community and for digital equity across the state. Um, I am really, really excited to be here to see all of you wonderful people all dedicated to, to digital inclusion and, and equity. It really is um, an exciting time. Starting in November 2023, residents now of Bucks, Chester, Delaware, and Montgomery counties will also be able to take advantage for support for questions about digital access and where to learn digital literacy skills by dialing 211. He joined NBC10 as a reporter in 2013 and is a 12-time Emmy Award recipient, including two honors for Best General Assignment Reporting in Mid-Atlantic Region. We're so excited to have Matt with us here today. Uh, come on up, Matt. All right, how's everyone feeling today? Any of you watched the game last night, the Phillies game? Today, digital equity. It, it is such an important issue for our communities here in Philadelphia and across the state. And it's wonderful to see a room full of practitioners and people who are really involved in this uh, gathered here today, as well as those of you who are watching online as well. And we're here to learn from each other as well as celebrate all of your hard work. D is critical to the economics of the B. And if you don't have access, but you have all the digital literacy skills in the world, and you have the ability to afford broadband, but if you don't have a network, isn't any darn good. Is that the people who are gonna be the best architects in this movement are the ones who can make space for other people, and it is not a threat to your genius. You can still be extraordinary in walking your people in. There is room for everyone to, um, whether it's thriving or to enjoy prosperity and freedom, there is room for you to have it and for me to have it and for both of us to be brilliant at the same time. If they don't make it into the public record, they don't get to sign up for funds. And so that's the part where the storytelling and the data and the policy making all intersect. And if you do not create spaces for the impacted residents to be a part of that conversation, we will keep editorializing how that feels for them and watering down how serious it is. In fact, the ACP program, the Affordable Connectivity Program, for those of you that don't know, is a $30 a month subsidy for broadband. Uh, it's taken up by 21 million homes uh, in the US and probably would be more if we improve our awareness, which we need to get the money first before we can't, we keep stepping on the gas and signing more people up, yet we're about to run out of money. It's supposed to be April of next year, and the ISPs are gonna to need to start to tell the subscribers in January that they're gonna lose this benefit. And if we lose this benefit, I can assure you it's gonna be very, very hard to get people to get back on because they won't trust, and they won't trust the government to take care of it. Learning Conference because I'm trying to learn more about how um, the city of Philadelphia but also like other organizations are helping their communities so that I can help my community. We have a lot of um, elders who still quite don't understand what the internet is and how to use their phones um, but also what are ways that we can utilize things that are already provided um, for our own community so that we can help. Um, and so I've been learning a lot about um, different websites that people have been using, uh, other organizations, um, how they they solve their, conf their conflicts in trying to teach their um, community um, how to have internet access, how to learn skills, but also how to apply them to real life situations. So 
Um, I'm happy to be here and to, to learn from some of you. Uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our panel, Teaching Outside the Box, New Perspectives on Visual Skills. 